All right, guys. You know, I think it's about time. Got to work on it. So I think it's important that before we start, um, yeah, I think it's important that we start and talk about some of my goals for the arrangement, some of my ideas that I I've already had like pre stream um and just like i've also kind of started a little bit but it's mainly small level stuff so actually hold up there's um what is it an arrangement that uh guitarist roland dians did where he essentially does uh, percussion while he does like guitar with one hand. And so that's what we're gonna kind of go with for our tank solo arrangement. So, so far, right? It's gonna be like this kind of tech. No, you can't see my right hand. caught a stone sour out of the initial rhythm weird the what yeah so that's pretty much going to be what it is um like we were talking about texture last time with the Grinch. And um, so this time the texture is going to be a little bit different. It's going to have this little. So whenever that appears, there's going to be some kind of percussion. And so what we got to do is we got to finish arranging the um, A section. And so what it pretty much is, is this kind of thing. Um, and then the legato bass line. When the legato bass line comes up, we're gonna take a listen to the bongos part that we play, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add that to it. And that's what the second staff is actually for. So we already got that intro.
So it's ba-dum, 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 ba-dum. and then right here, we're going to do a little quintuplet. Actually, is that going to, I don't know if, I think it might be something else. I don't think this is the actual rhythm. Alright, I think I want to say this is the rhythm. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da
Okay, that sounds about right. Alright, here comes the risky part. Let's see. Um. Cool. So, what I'm hearing is and then now there's no percussion. Now it's just bass. And I think it's gonna be So I think it's gonna be two systems of this, I think. Oof. Ooh. Yep, so it's better da 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 Oops. Da da da. Da da da. Boom. Da 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 yeah, so what I'm hearing, what I'm hearing is so the 16th notes or the eighth notes are going to sound a lot like 16th notes. Um, yeah. They're gonna sound a lot like 60th notes because this is cut time. So, what is it? The chord notes actually like. But that's what the kind of pulse is. Yeah. Okay. We'll see. Da 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 Okay, let's give that a try. Da -da 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 
Oh, hi, what's up, Roxy, Lucy? Nope, right here. Okay, so let's give this a listen at our own peril. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to play at 75%. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's try this. I'm hearing something slightly different. Okay. Actually, I think it's kind of easier just hearing it at full speed. Hmm. Okay, yeah. 
Okay. So, then this is correct. Hmm. Oops. Okay. Alright, cool. I heard like a little triplet figure thing in there too. Awesome. So. Yeah, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to turn this into percussion notation. This isn't actually going to be a G or anything. It's just um, a placeholder right now. And since the bongos have a low and a high hip, what we're going to do is we're going to um, assign different notes for it. So I think it's like... I want to say it's this. So if we go back and listen. Ooh. Ooh, I don't understand what's going on. But it about that. Oh, 
Hold up. Okay. Maybe this? Yeah, that was luck. I honestly. Oh. So just like we talked about with composition. Actually, I think this is like part of just doing anything. Honestly, but I just know it with music. So sometimes I just throw shit at the wall and see what sticks. Because I, yeah. Because that right there, I was like, okay, well, let's see if this is it. That wasn't like a hyper like aware thing i was kind of like all right cool this bongo rhythm is pretty uh pretty wild so let's see what sticks and so it's kind of noobish of me i guess i know a lot of composers that do not recommend doing this kind of stuff in sibelius because it says it gets in between it's like, um, it just takes more time. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's easier to just write down, which I think is true, but it's also kind of nice to have that feedback thing. So I think it just depends on the person. Okay, cool. Okay, Okay, so I think this might be displaced a little bit. Actually, let's try this. Maybe I and I don't know this yet. Well, let's see. Oops. Okay. So da 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 da
All right, let's see. Hmm. Da -da 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 -da. Oh. Maybe it's that. Um. Ah oh, man, this is hanging me up now. Cause we I thought we had it, but Maybe I just wanted to come up slightly later. Oh, maybe it's that extra note. That sounds weird. Okay, actually, I think that's it. Yeah, that's what was messing me up. Actually, hold on. Maybe that. Alright. Run 
Dun, dun, dun. Pam pam para pam 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 para pam 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 para pam 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 this pump pump I just want to hear this part because that's the only way now. That's why, okay. What's kind of throwing me off is hearing the rhythm played back. Bum, bum, ba -dum. Bum, bum, ba -dum. Bum. Bum, ba, bum, bum. Maybe. Bum, bum, ba, dum, bum, ba, dum, bum. Pum 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 pum. Pum 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 pum. Awesome. All right. So let's hear. I'll turn my thing up actually. Oh, 
Okay. There's something I'm not liking about it here. I'm thinking it's between the measure 16 and 17, but we'll see. Uh, hmm, go back. Hmm. Well, maybe this. I doubt it. I highly doubt it. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. Huh. Okay, and this is where the talking starts. So, what is it? I'm hearing a little ry rhythmic motif that I know is going to come up. I'm just not 100% sure on the placing of it yet. So, I'm going to go ahead and write that down in a spot that I'm not 100% yet. So, what we might do is right now, what's happening is I'm kind of 
what is it because it's like more repetitive and there's like a little bongo solo the um how far in we are is kind of getting confusing so what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to fast forward to about measure 25 where the a section starts and i'm going to be like oh okay what was leading up to that and i'm going to kind of try to get measures 23 and 24 in there and by doing that i kind of am working from a different starting point now so this feels pretty solid as it, and as i build it up more towards the middle the middle will feel more solid because i'll know uh more so where it's at because i'll know the things surrounding it so let's go ahead and give that another listen Da, 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 da. Da, da. So it's going to be ba dum 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 Cool. So what is it? So far we have So So what's really important is it's going to be a little bit more challenging. But essentially, you got to be very comfortable and know exactly where you are rhythmically. So when I go. All right, cool.
you know, the, 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 the. so what I also want to do, oof, I don't know, that's probably going to be too long of a clip to be PC. with some notation stuff too so the thumb is gonna be this right here on the G and the fingers are going to be the C and so the bongo has kind of like a low thing right like I'm not good at imitating it with my mouth but Pretty much, sometimes it's high, sometimes it's low. So if we're using, if we're using both, right? It's like we are at the beginning with the ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da. So ba da 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 da. So I think that should be a little bit lower. Actually, maybe a little bit higher. So I'm just gonna write right here. I'm gonna say mid. Because I want it right here. Because sometimes you go right here, really bassy. Right here, I think right about here is good. We would go here. We want like a bass drum sound, but if we were gonna go here, so goes So these first two are going to be pretty uh, intuitive because so far what we have, and we will proofread it, is um, so ba 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 bum ba bum bum. Da, 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 da. 
So. So, and then what we're going to do is we're going to practice just that real quick or at first then we're going to go and now we're going to take a look at what the uh, how the notes line up rhythmically so I know the thumb is going to be at the same time as I play the C. And there's going to be another thumb at the same time I play the B flat. So. And there's going to be another thumb once again where I play the C. So these first two little measures with the percussion are going to be the probably probably the easiest. It's probably going to get pretty hard. But because measure 13, the beats and the, or the bass line and the percussion part all falls under the same. It comes at the exact same time. So it's... You see what I'm doing? So now I'm going one and two and three. So I'm going right here. F and two and so cool so it's really important whenever you have something that's a little challenging or foreign to how you're used to playing and I, I feel like most people don't usually I mean play like this most of the time um, it's really important to just take it in chunks and just be super meticulous so just practice little maybe just a beat or two And I'll practice it very slow.
let's figure out this beginning chord real quick. Maybe here? Nope, that's definitely not it. No, not it. So I need an E and a G. All right, cool. And then this one's just gonna be doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, so let's come up with a bit of a game plan for next time. I'll say tink. And so what's gonna happen is we need to get the intro finished and we're gonna make little sub things so our intro and then obviously the verses and so the thing about the verses is the bongos are always doing something different so we're gonna have to see what they're doing in every single verse and the way we're going to do this is um, we're going to do it like how the seatbelts recorded it. We're not going to do it necessarily only the length of the intro. So it's going to be a little bit longer. So we're going to make a little bit of a solo section. So the intro, the verses, B section, the little big band part. Well, I guess the entire thing is a big band part. The kind of like... Um, harmonic minor 
some people might consider it like more Middle Eastern kind of exotic section if you want to put it like that uh, intro and then we need to do the solos and so we're going to take a look if uh, if we get away with it at some of the solos that they do and if possible we'll even look at some solos that other people do in different arrangements of it just to get some ideas it's pretty much like super shredder saxophone blues kind of thing and we want the outro and so what i think is going to happen all right if we go a little more in depth for the intro we need opening harmony and then um, percussion second half at this point now for the verses we are going to need um, the kind of big band harmony I would say melody harmony There's also a bit of a dynamic change. And so we need to figure out how to either portray that with the texture. So either the texture can get thicker or we could just make it louder, obviously, or change the um, tone color. We can, we need to do something with that though because it goes kind of like quiet. It's like, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -da -da. And then I say, bum, 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 ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, da And it's very much like more um, bombastic. So, and we only have one guitar. We don't have an entire big band. So we need to think of ways to have that come across. The dynamic. Uh, so the dynamic change. We need the percussion. Hmm. I want to say that's it. Oh, let's take a look real quick. Uh, yeah, okay. We have that, and then we have the B section over here. Now for the B section, um, we don't have to do much, but we gotta we gotta see what we can get away with texturally, because there's a lot going on. So I would just say the melody, and then the chords. And I think they do other things. So the ad libs and that, I'll say that's, once we get to the B section, we'll start talking about it. We've got to analyze some of the solos. Analyze some of the solos, um, transcribe them. If we can't find like some kind of um, transcription already, transcribe solos. And there's kind of a bit of a call response thing too. So they'll do like a little like, like -do 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 -do, and it'll kind of go back to the big band thing. So the call and the response, we'll probably have some kind of call and response texture to where we'll interrupt the line. Um, which is kind of like a different kind of textural thing. So we might do like some little pentatonic lick monophonically um, or something to that degree. And then we'll come in with some like chords that feel almost exterior. And then we'll do some like different tone colors with those chords or whatever, make it brighter. And then the outro, uh, percussion. Oops. 
There's like these little licks, right? There's like the ba da ba da ba da ba da ba 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 da 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 ba da. So we need to get the licks in. We'll pretty much have our um. What is it? Yeah, we'll pretty much have everything for that, except for just the licks. So that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing, and then the actual like ending flourish thing. Um, might have to come up with a little bit of an ad-libbed ending. Just because I don't know if the way that they ended and the thing is going to work out necessarily or end as strong on guitar. Cool. So I think we have a pretty good little goal list. So next time, first things first is the intro. We're going to get the percussion down for that. And we're going to get the opening harmony going uh, just the chords we pretty much all have this done and then we're gonna get started hopefully on verse the verses and so we're gonna talk about like what harmony we can use how we can have it on guitar um, and we're also gonna look at the percussion for the verses which I think will be much simpler than the intro one because the intro is like a full-on blown bongo solo and um but the intros just kind of have like little ad libs here and there so it's really i think it'll be a lot easier to stay grounded and then yeah cool and then hopefully by the end of the week we'll get to the b section if not just straight up the solos we should be done with the b section but the solos i feel like are going to take a little bit of time because they take up a little bit of a chunk of it. And there's a lot going on with um, how the big band responds to it. So during the solos, they'll have like certain little licks that I think would be super cool to add to our arrangement. And it would just flush it out that much more. And then, yeah, so should be about a um, two-week arc, I would say. Cool. Well, hey guys thanks for coming i hope you enjoyed if you uh if you like the content you should go ahead and give it a follow just like sans squanchy um seem to like it so yeah i will see you guys tomorrow you guys take care